Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I have the pleasure to present you a new perfume from Hubigant, Paris, and it's called Tabac Nomad. I have here an original sample because I am a very big fan of the brand and when I saw that they have a new release I said you know what I need to try it. So it has this beautiful um, font in here. The sample as you can see it's quite full. I saw a review already on YouTube for this scent from uh, um, RV Mati. I don't know how to pronounce the whole name but he's a very cool guy i will put his uh, video in the description below it was very promising what he said about this scent i was surprised to see that on parfumo the perception for this scent is not very good most likely because it's such a new scent many people did not have the chance to try it so I said I'm gonna get a sample, I'm gonna try it uh, for myself, I'm gonna test it myself, give you my opinion and then at least I know what is it about with this new release from Hubigan Paris. So this is a spicy leathery scent. The perfumers behind it are Luca Maffei, which is a very famous Italian perfumer, and Antoine Lee. Antoine Lee is the one who came up with Armani Code or the toilet back in the day. So uh, you, you can see that two great minds uh, got together and created this scent. So yeah, how can this be bad? I will spray now. Wow, it's so nice guys. It's so, 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 so nice. So, so nice. Five times so, so nice. So in top notes you'll have rose, spices and bergamot, in middle note tonka bean, saffron, blossom and tobacco and in base notes leather and vanilla. So what does this scent remind me of? Toba color from Dior, this Toba color. If you are a very big fan of let's say spicy strong complex scents this is one that you should give a try. This is a tobacco leather perfume which is very special and original. It seems to have an aromatic tobacco leaves vibe in, in my opinion. Uh, this reminds me of um, Toba Color from Dior like I said or an aromatic tobacco shisha. So like these bars where you have this hookah or uh, shisha. I'll also put a photo here when you have this aromatic uh, tobacco on top, aromatic uh, um, oils and then through heat and vapors you inhale it this smells like that and toba color smells like that toba color if you are uh, watching uh, youtube reviews like i do and you saw aaron terring's hughes review of toba color he was very impressed by what dior has come up with if he would smell this one i think he would be also very impressed with what who began paris has come up with this is so nice guys, this is so special. It has this airiness, this, this spiciness into it that uh, tobacco, when you think about tobacco, like uh, this thick tobacco leaves smell, you don't have that in here. Maybe green tobacco or I don't know, cherry tobacco, but not the thick leaves that make cigarettes. So this is very, very, very long lasting. This is a scent which um, when I tried it, it lasted me like literally the whole day. I mean, look, I only sprayed a little and it's extremely powerful. So I think with a bottle, a bottle will last you your whole life. I mean, if you don't over spray. The uh, Hubigant is part of Paris group and this I find quite interesting because Hubigant they have such a long heritage and history and long tradition in the back and I thought they are independent but apparently Paris group saw the value and the potential of this brand and they have purchased them. So Paris group is the one that has uh, Paris Monte Carlo which are also very nice scents so at least I'm glad that they are in a beauty group which is focused on beauty products and they are not like in a very greedy corporate environment let's say this is very long lasting and will project all the time it is almost too powerful for my taste and uh, in terms of versatility i don't think it's very versatile it is mainly for your uh, free time so 
for office wear, wear it with caution. Or if you are the manager or the head of the department, then you can do whatever you want. But if you're just a normal employee to go there and uh, be part of the team, you might give the wrong impression because it's madly powerful. And the smell is also a bit controversial. It smells like hookah, it smells like shisha, it smells like as if you were vaping a lot before you came into the office and you have these aromatic vapors on you. I think it will shine in the colder months. You can wear it dressed up or dressed down, but for the summer or like the heat or like the warmer days, it might be very, very powerful and you will not enjoy it. As a score, I give it a 9 out of 10. If you love uh, spicy, aromatic scents, this is for you. The tobacco in here, like I said, it's very aromatic, very pleasant, not the, the cigarettes type, if this is what you're looking for. And uh, it is quite original. Apart from tobacco color, which is also quite original and very, very spicy and very powerful, I have not smelled the Saint DNA before. So from this regard, it's quite original for my nose. A bottle is around 150 euro and that is half of what Dior is asking for the 125 milliliter bottle. So if you like the tobacco color, but you think it's too much, give the who began Tobac Nomad, the Nomad Tobac. Give it a try and then uh, please comment below how did you like it or if you like it, maybe you don't like it, who knows. Thank you very much for uh, watching this uh, small introduction into the Tabac Nomad from uh, Who Began Paris. For me, this is a wonderful scent. I um, enjoy it a lot and I think a bottle will follow. Please comment down below if you like it or if you have tried the scent before and I hope to see you soon on the channel again. Stay healthy. Bye bye.